The acting minister of education who arrived at Benin Airport at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon was received by top management of the University of Benin, led by the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Usayuki Oshodi, a dual state chairman of PDP, Chief Dan Obi, and Senator Odion Ogbesia. They later departed for the residence of late Professor Festus Iyayi, the minister who said he was directed by President Goodluck Jonathan to visit the family, recalled his last meeting with Professor Iyayi. He said it was unfortunate that his contributions to the growth of education will no longer be there. He urged the family to take heart as their breadwinner has left indelible mark in the sands of time. For us who are here, it's very painful. Nigeria has lost somebody. Academic has lost somebody. All we can say is that we believe that God will give us and give the family to bear this uh, really parable that lost. It's unfortunate that this is the way that has happened and I won't see for again. On behalf of the team, the Department of Education, the NEC, I want to say sorry for what has happened. Responding, one of Professor Iyayi's children, Omole Iyayi, thanked the minister for the show of support, adding that he was glad to know that his father was loved by all. On behalf of the family, I want to welcome you, albeit under these um, tragic circumstances of our home. I want to thank you for the show of support uh, and the care that you have shown in coming personally to sympathize with us and to commiserate with us on the loss of our dad. The minister, who was accompanied on the visit by the Executive Secretary, National Universities Commission, Professor Julius Okuje, also visited Dr. Ngozi Ilo, one of the lecturers who was also involved in the accident at the hospital. Pius Nsogo reporting.